Hi, my name's Alex and I'm going to read Kokodusa Saves the Park. Kokodusa Saves the Park by Roma families from across the UK. Ahoy, there was a Roma Hitana supergirl named Kokodusa. Her name her house name was Coco and her friends and family sometimes called her Coco. She was named after a fruit tree. Corcodusa loved walking and riding her bike. One day, she was on the bus with her grandmother, Mama Olympia, and she saw that the sky looked sad. They stopped to go to the park, but it was dirty and had rubbish anywhere. She talked with Mama Olympia and asked, Why the park was dirty, Mama Olympia said, well, people don't respect nature anymore. They have forgotten how much we need her. On her way to school, Gorgodusa wondered how much she could clean the park and what she could do. She saw a sign that Greta Thunberg was visiting London for the weekend. The Greta bus had a Save the Planet song. Save our planet. Korkodusa asked her teacher about Greta and learned that she was in the UK. Alexandra said Greta is here encouraging young people to stand up for what what they believe in. Kogodusa remembered her local park. She imagined a park that was colourful, welcome and clean, but her local park was dirty. What can we do to clean up the park, Miss Alexandra? You can recycle coca, but the park doesn't have any bins, exclaimed Kogodusa. Then write a letter to the council and ask for help. Kokodusa decided to write the council and also decided to clean up the park with her friends and family. One Saturday, they went to the park and started picking up the litter. After cleaning, they went home to have some sarmale and then started writing letters to to the grown-ups at the council. One of the little boys named Ollie wrote a poem called Friends Air. How hard is to breathe nowadays polluted. Air makes us feel sick and unwell, hopping for rescue. But from who and where? Looking inside yourself and answer will be there. After they wrote their letters and poem, they decided to send them to to the people in power. The kids all looked at rubbish they had collected and started to think how they could reuse it. They started to touch the materials and remembered what Sora from Pittsmoor Adventure Playground would always say, messy play, messy play, let's be creative, reimagine. And they did, they recycled and reimagined and created a farm with all the items they found Suddenly, one of the boys said, Hey, what's that on your wall? Those are our house rules. Did you make that? Kurkudusa replied with a warm, Yes, I found the wood, painted it with my mom and brother Alex. And ta-da! After a few weeks of waiting, Kokodusa and her friends got a letter in the post 
We have now installed recycling bins at the park. We are doing our part. Now you do yours. Everyone helped keep clean, rain or shine. The park was always singing. All the kids and families respected and the park and the road. They placed their rubbish in the bins, recycled the plastic bottles and reminded others with a loving voice that they should not litter.